Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel, to another video and to Vlogmas. So I'm coming to you today from my kitchen on a very, very gloomy day. It's about half one, I think. Oh, well, ten past one. And it feels so dark that I have the main light on. I apologise in advance if the lighting is not great. I can't change that. It is what it is. That's how my house is. So anyway, let me get straight to the point. If you watched my video yesterday, I was talking about traditions, Portuguese traditions and English traditions, all that jazz. And I mentioned Pão de Ló, which is a very, very traditional Portuguese cake that I'm about to make for you to see. It's super simple. Three ingredients and an amazing sponge cake. So come along. So here's what you'll need. You'll need eggs. You will need, let me see if I can show you, a lot of eggs. Eight egg yolks and four full eggs, right? So that's 12 eggs in, in total. Eight yolks and four whole eggs. Do not get rid of the egg whites. I have a recipe on my channel on how you can use them. I'll put the link above for you. So you'll need that. You will need one and a quarter cup of sugar and one and a, and a half cup of plain flour. That's all you need to make this cake. Now I'm gonna use my hand held whisk because I wanted to show you step by step instead of using my Thermomix. If you have a standard mixer, that will be really good because this is gonna take me a lot longer because this is not particularly strong. But if you, hand a, if you have like, a, what do you call the mixers? The, KitchenAid mixer, this will do it very quickly. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the sugar into the eggs. And now we're gonna mix it until it's nice and fluffy. Kind of the consistency you're looking for if you have a standard mixer it will probably take a couple of minutes to get to this to this in a very high setting okay now you're gonna add in one full spoon at a time the flour sorry you can't really tell there you go flour and you're gonna have your mixer on a very low setting, like number one, as you add that in. So once you've added your last tablespoon of flour, stop mixing it with your mixer and either use a spatula or this is what I'm doing, just very gently fold the rest of the flour. You want some of the air to be left in the mixture. And there we are. So this is the cake pan that I'll use. Traditionally, it is used with, it has a hole in the middle, the cake. It's a fairly big one. This is a fairly big cake. So all I'm gonna do is butter it really, really well. Now, traditionally, there is a white paper that you put inside, and you can use um, the paper that we use, so like baking paper. Uh, non-stick baking paper, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to butter it really, really well. And I'm also going to flour it and tap it around. Make sure it covers the whole, the whole pan. Okay. 
get rid of any excess and we're ready to pour the batter in. And there you are, it's ready to go in a preheated even oven. Sorry, it's ready to go in the preheated oven. Lord, oh, let's try that again. And there you go, it's ready to go in the preheated oven, uh, 180 degrees for about 40 minutes. So I've just taken the cake out of the oven. It's been 40 minutes exactly. And this is what it should look like. And when you put your cake thing in, it should come out clean. And here it is, the final product. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and that it helps make you feel a little bit Christmassy. Christmassy, give it a try and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Bye!